So folks, we're back once again here in Under the Sand, and it's been a while since we played this road trip game, and I have missed out on a ton of updates, including basically how the whole world works. So yeah, when we uh, go out here, it's probably going to be a lot more unpredictable. You're going to see more things, more like branching paths, and we're going to see where we end up here. Uh, we got to fix up one of three vehicles. I think we're going to go with the truck here in the middle. Now, kind of like the long drive, you can pretty much put any parts uh, on the vehicle. So let's go ahead and grab the engine here. Uh, let's go ahead and grab water tank. That's battery, air filter. So let's go attach these uh, to our truck here. And yeah, I want to get moving as soon as possible. So let's go boom, boom, there and there. All right, so we do need a little bit in the water tank and some oil here, which I think I have that in the main house. Uh, let's go ahead and grab a couple pieces to the vehicle. So we have, looks like we got a door here. Let's go with the hood, uh, trunk. There's a wheel here and there's a tire. So let's go ahead and get these on real quick. Should get moving uh, as soon as possible because it's going to get dark here. I put this door on here. I like how everything's like not matched right now. And they have added the ability to like paint the vehicles. There's more parts now. Uh, really liking what they're doing so far. So yeah, if we go back in here to the market, they've changed stuff up. We got some police light bars, get overhead bars that look really cool. Uh, you still have all your different engines, performance parts, front bumpers, and check this out. We got paints. Uh, we got some film down here for the windows. You got some more batteries and uh, there's a lot of money. Can I not take this? Oh, and yeah, the dev actually had went kind of silent for a little bit. They were working on the new, like, I think they call it the world generation 3.0, which it is the way the whole map works. And that was my main complaint about the game is that it got, I, I want to say a little boring, uh, pretty quick. But I'm hoping it's a lot more random now. Let's go in here and pick up some more parts. Also, I believe uh, this container is where you can send parts back to your base, which this is our base uh, at the moment. Also, isn't there a kitty? Oh my goodness, there's the kitty. Can I pet it? Oh, it's purring. Yes, you can pet the cat. Also, they added windshields, so that's a new thing. All right, here's the wheels. Also, still haven't quite figured out what has caused the apocalypse here uh, and why we're on a road trip. I guess it's just for supplies and stuff. Uh, let's pour in the engine oil here. There we go. I know they changed up some of the liquid systems here and how they work. Uh, get rid of that. And then, oh, oh my goodness, I was about to put fuel in the, uh, wait, can I attach this? It, it's just pour or drop. When I drop, it just bounces off. Uh, yeah, I was almost going to pour fuel in the uh, water tank. It's not the first time I've done something stupid like that. I mean, you guys have seen my long drive episodes. Okay, we got to get moving. By the way, you guys can hit the thumbs up button if you want to see more of this on the channel. We got to have some more supplies around here. Here we go. We got a wheel here. I got some food. There's a little bit of water and there's spray paint. I haven't actually got to use that yet. You know, we might have to go buy a canister of water. I'm pretty sure there's one around here somewhere, but I, I want to move. Uh, so maybe I'll just go pick it up on and go and slap that on. Yeah, it doesn't look like a whole lot's changed here at the beginning base. I think it's when we get out in the world where we're going to see some uh, pretty big improvements here. Okay, here we go. Let's go ahead and pour that into there. Nice. All right, good enough. By the way, I can spray paint things. Hold on, how does this work? Uh, spray paint. E. Oh, did you look at that? That's actually kind of cool. There we go. And I think it's already getting dark, isn't it? Yeah, I must say the game looks a little bit different. It's definitely got a little bit better lighting system. I know that's something the dev had worked on. So looking a little bit more vibrant, a little bit more crispy here. I remember it was extremely washed out. So yeah, here is the question. What do you think we're going to see here? I'm pretty sure the first biome is pretty standard, but it's when we go through the tunnels. Uh, where we're going to see something. Oh my goodness, this truck does not turn. It's fine. I'm not purposely driving off the side of the road. Not gonna lie, kind of looks like at the back of this truck there's a spot. Maybe it's for the light bar. Or maybe there's a toolbox. A toolbox would be absolutely fantastic. Uh, like a big storage box back there. Oh, yeah. Uh, hopefully we can find something like that out here. Now, I'm not really sure if there's any, like, enemies or anything yet. I I'm hoping that is on the agenda or something to interact with. I know there's some shops out here, uh, but I don't know really what they're gonna sell. Uh, and how much it's changed from when we played it, you know, about a half a year ago. Also, my, this engine is just, like, painfully slow. My goodness, it, could we go a little faster here? Okay, there is something on the horizon here to the left. I'm hoping that it's, like, an upgraded engine, because this thing's painful. Is that the fan poking through the front? I think it is. It's like this engine barely fits in this truck. Uh, oh, that might be a shop. Well... Komodo's pretty broke right now, but you know what? We could just kind of zip in here 
Uh, see what they have to offer. Hey, what you got in here? Oh, you got some supplies. Is that a flashlight? Oh, it's a flare. What can I do with the flare? Health kit. Wait, why is there health kit and pills? Sarah, would you like to would you like to talk to me? Also, these are some cool looking off-road tires. Maybe he's just a strong silent type or something. Alright, well we need to get moving here. Uh, I don't really want to spend the money yet. I don't really need anything. I got food and stuff uh, inside. It also looks like it's getting kind of dark here, so... Uh, I do find it interesting why we would have health. Is it just because you could probably starve in the game? Maybe that's what it is. Or maybe we can get to a horrible car crash. Okay, we got a sign coming up here. What does it say? Farmville and Route 9. Wait! So there's actually like a... Okay, do we want to go to the highway? We want to go to the farm. Route 9, Farmville. Um, You know what? We've never broken off uh, from the path here. Well, you really couldn't do that in the original game. Let's go to Farmville. So I'm wondering if this path will continue or is it going to end or we're going to have to end up coming back to Route 9? Dude, okay, this is kind of cool, not gonna lie. This is really what the game, besides maybe some sort of enemy or something to interact with out here, the game needed just a bigger and better world. Oh yeah, okay, so I must say the lighting is quite improved. It's actually kind of lovely looking. I mean, you kind of have like that low poly style on the models and the cars, but uh, you got this really, I would say somewhat realistic uh, lighting system, which they actually blend way better than they should. I, I like it a lot actually. Uh, okay, still driving to Farmville. Maybe it doesn't even exist. <laughs> Maybe the apocalypse took it out. Okay, I'm pretty sure we might have taken a deadly turn back there. Farmville seems to be, like, non-existent. I do like they definitely spread out the stops. It used to be this game, you would get stops every five seconds. It almost, like, didn't even matter. Uh, the whole survival element of it. It was like, you're gonna find a stop here really soon. I haven't seen one in a bit. I do like it. Uh, look, the dome light works now. That's actually kind of pretty. That's the first thing you should probably talk about while I'm thinking about death. Like, hey, look, at least we're going to die in a nice setting. So I'll put that fence up there. Uh, is there is there something back behind that? There might be haunted. Huh? Maybe look for a drive. Uh, is my... I can't tell if my light... My lights looked like they were on. Are they actually... Is there like a bright setting? There we go. Okay, those are headlights. That might be emergent. Oh, that's additional light, so that'd be if I have an overhead light. Okay, we got about a quarter. Okay, we got 14.3 liters of gas there. I like when you highlight the uh, gas gauge. It tells you exactly what you got. Uh-oh. Wait, what is it? Wait a minute. Oh, my God. Okay. Yeah, um, yep, yeah, the road just randomly ended there. I think I see it on the other side. Oh, my God. <gasps> no, 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 no. Yep, okay, we just crashed. Any more road signs here? No, it just kind of looks like we're going into a camp. Hold on, there's something on the left side here. Oh. Maybe there's something in the... Wait a minute. This doesn't look like the traditional tunnels we used to have. What happened here? Okay, um, I don't have a flat. Wait, do I have a flashlight? Is it press F for flashlight? It's actually not even that dark out here right now. Is there any supplies in here? Wait, this looks like a military checkpoint. Can I even go through here? I'm not even sure I can. Hold on, look through here. There's like no loot. It has definitely been picked clean. I guess I'm gonna drive up to the gate real quick. There's a chance we just waste it. Like, I wanna say I've been driving for about 10, 15 minutes now. Uh, we might not be able to get through here. Oh my goodness. Yep, uh, when in doubt. Oh, wait, we opened it. Um. That was random. Okay. Yeah, they changed the way that worked. You used to just drive through like a tunnel. The only problem I see is there's not really a road here. All right. Well, I guess we're just going to drive there and hope for the best here. Uh, <laughs> guess uh, I need to really be on the lookout for stops here because this, this is a big problem at the moment. Wait, what is this on the left? Is that an airstrip or is that the, the road just... Is that a road? Hold on. Did that just randomly appear? Okay, I'm going to jump over on this side. Um, interesting. Wait a minute, finally! Wait, is that the farm? <laughs> I think we finally found Farmville. Oh, dude, that totally looks like a farm. You can see a little, uh, windmill over there. Okay, we found Farmville, so it does exist. I was thinking maybe the, the sign was just completely false. Oh, dude, look at this! Wait, you think here's anybody home? They didn't add zombies or anything to this game. Wait, there's a vehicle up there. Hold on! Okay, I am definitely intrigued. Keep the light. That might be burning battery. Uh, I'm gonna keep it on because, like, do I have a flashlight? Let me look at my inputs. Now I'm gonna say there isn't one in the game, but there's not like a default one. And okay, 
Yeah, I'm getting just like random like killer vibes in here. Uh, there's a container up here. What's this? Uh, Petro. All right, we got some fuel, so that's good. I'm gonna just toss the stuff by the gate here. There is a farmhouse. Got some creepy vibes here. We got a vehicle. I don't think this thing's usable. It just looks like a, a prop. Uh, anything in here? No, it looks empty. Got another barn in here. Maybe we got another canister of some sort. Is that a workbench? Kind of looks like a workshop. I don't think there's crafting in the game right now. Uh, it looks empty. All right, let's maybe go outhouse to keep anything down in here. I could have swore I heard an extra step in here. Okay. Um, well, we got a water container. There's a cassette, uh, so we got some music if we want to jam to some tunes. There's canned meat. You know, spam should still be good in the apocalypse. Go and do that. And then go up to the bedroom. Could you imagine still being here? Like, you just live in this little bedroom. You know, honestly, it might not be a bad idea just to stay the night here, wait it out till day. Uh, but we found Farmville. It is creepy in here. Okay, so I can choose how long I sleep. I, I don't think it really matters. Let's go six hours. That might get us to day. Well, nothing tried to kill me in my sleep, which that's pretty nice. There we go. Got a little bit of fuel. I'm going to keep that. Uh, the cassette, I mean, I might listen to some tunes. All right, let's head out. Uh, well, well, we found Farmville. So I'm assuming we could go back through that gate and go up Route 9. I, I might as well continue on here. Maybe we'll find another highway. That's kind of what I'm hoping. But yeah, I mean, it's already 10 times better. Like, it was so predictable when I played this game last time. that It got so boring so quick. That's why we did, like, I think three episodes. And I was like, all right, well, it's not really anything else to do. But I'm, I'm hoping the dev continues here because it looks like on the change logs and the amount of updates have happened since I've been gone, there's been a lot. So we know that they're really hard at work here. Well, we know it's how rare the stops seem to be now. We might not see another one of those bad boys for a while. Let's go turn that off there. That is unnecessary. There we go. You know, I was just about to mention this. I was really excited to see another like split off here. And here we go. So what do we have? We have Farmville Route 9. Wait, does that just loop us back to Farmville? I'm hoping we get some more signs. Like, it felt like that was... Well, that's a hill and a half over there. Uh, I mean, I guess we have to go opposite. So, would we actually just find another farm at the end of that road over to the left? Or, like, what's going to happen? I don't know. I I'm assuming along the highway we might have more stops. Uh, plus, we can get off this dirt road here. I haven't even looked at the durability on the tires and stuff. I should probably check that. Uh, I'm assuming we could blow these bad boys out. And probably need to check on the engine here in a second, too. We'll do it at the next stop. Oh, wait. Is this another branching? Oh, this splits off right here, too. It might actually just intersect back to... You know, let's go to the left side. I feel like this path's going to come back together. Uh, well, maybe. Yep, I was 100% right. <laughs> There's just a little split in the road. I was trying to see if it was going to, like, go off to another random spot here. Yo, is that... Okay, either that's a rock or that's a house to the right side. Hold on. Oh, okay, here we go. Okay, I think I've seen this stop before. Pretty sure this is fairly normal. Look how boarded up it is. Kind of creepy. Okay, we need to do like a vehicle check anyways. Uh, so let's get out. Let's go and pop the hood. Probably should check the inside first. Okay, durability's definitely gone down a little bit, but uh, for the most part, it's pretty good. So whatever I can pick up, I, I got to keep in mind I can sell stuff too. It kind of, oh, okay, pills. More pills. I know I could sell those. Those will probably be worth quite a bit of money. Um, anything in here? Uh, oh, that's a battery. Oh, that's a repair tool. Never mind. I thought it was a battery. Okay, this is definitely stuff that we can use. Any fuel? Uh, there is light beer. Pretty sure that's probably valuable in the apocalypse. Oh, I gotta check the, the outhouse here. I uh, never know. Maybe there's some surprises. It's like the long drive where there's gold in them. Okay, everything else looking pretty empty. I don't know. There's probably something that I've missed. I know people are going to yell at me in the comment section. Uh, okay, so we got some stuff here. I, I don't know if it freezes what's back here. I feel like it does. So I'm just going to drop some of this stuff back here. Uh, and then we'll need to find, I guess, a store somewhere that I can either sell or I could send stuff back too. That way, if you restart your journey with a new car... Uh, you'll have like a bunch of extra stuff to start off with, but everything seems fine here. Okay, I like how it said we're going to like Route 9, and I have yet to see a highway here. So, cut across, I do see another stop. So, that's the closest the stops have been so far. Uh, this one actually looks pretty big. It looks like it might be a big store or something. I uh, want we'll to take a look inside. Uh, or, wait a minute. Is that a fence around it? That might be... Is that another farm? 
Or is that like a base or something? Huh? That might be a watchtower in the front of it. Yo, this is totally a military base. Uh, all right. I don't... Do I remember this one from... You know, this might be new. No, I think I remember the downed helicopter here. So, yeah, that definitely makes you wonder, like, what the heck is even happening out here? Okay, there is bound to be a ton of good loot in here. I can't take the TVs, unfortunately. Um, you feel like those would be worth some money. There's probably some components in there people could use here in the apocalypse. Uh, see a battery? Okay, that's good. Uh, anything else back here? I'm not going to find something that's going to make me jump, am I? I feel like that would be the perfect opportunity for a game like this. Like, just make it to where there's some scary stuff in here. Also, I had something highlight here. What? Oh, I can open these boxes. Okay. Uh, there's a flare. Uh, okay, I got a couple flares. That makes sense for a military base. Uh, let's see. Burnt out house here. Or might have been like a barracks or something. And then you got a bunch of tents. So water barrel, it's completely empty. I don't know if there's like water sources. Say like there's, I don't know why there would be running tap water out here, but you never know. Maybe there's like tanks or something you could fill up. Honestly, that'd be kind of cool. Let's check the inside of this out. Wait, I can, oh, I guess I can sit down in there. I don't think I need to do that. Danger explosives. There's a bunch of tanks out here, but I don't, don't look like any of this is usable for us. What about the tower? It's, oh, the, uh, the ladder's broken. Okay. Well, I mean, there's some stuff to at least get us going here. Uh, some supplies. Definitely some stuff we can sell. Uh, it's just a matter of finding a store here. I'm a little concerned. Uh, check fuel. Uh, 13 liters, so we're still doing fine on fuel. I'm just more worried about the vehicle breaking down. Starting to... I can't tell if it's getting dark and ready to rain or if it's just getting dark here, but something's definitely happening with the environment. Okay, coming up to Canyon area. I feel like we're going to see a transition. Maybe this is the tunnel or they uh, it might still be the military gates. Uh, I'm assuming this is going to get us to the highway, the Route 9. Oh, yeah, here we go. All right, so no longer tunnels at all. Like, it's all gates. So we just got to get close to this one. Uh, we'll open it up. We'll take a peek on the other side and see what's around. I don't know if they stuck anything in any of these buildings. They all kind of look empty here at the military checkpoint. You would think that those would probably be... Uh, pretty well picked, uh, depending on how long ago everything happened. Oh, there we go. Finally, there's actual road here. So yeah, the last gate we opened up, it was just dirt. So we got quite a ways to go. Uh, if you guys want to see some more of this on the channel, let me know down in the comment section below. I actually think the, the changes are definitely uh, welcomed here, and I think there's quite a bit that we can still discover in this game. 